This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hearts of the Caribbean. Yep. Uh, we like to show that one too. That's a Jack Sparrow gun. Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Who, which one, who used this one? Johnny, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah. Johnny Depp. And that's a reproduction uh, of a original British gun. Right. And then oh. these is, uh, this was from Pirates 2, I believe, or it might have been 2 and Keith 3. Keith Richards. Keith Richards, yeah. Wow. Ah, so he played he Johnny's dad. And that's a Kira Knightley gun there. That's pretty cool. Kira Knightley. Okay. Got to represent the ladies, too. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty neat. And these are these are basically all repros? No, these, this is an original antique. Oh, Actually, nice. both of these are. The, oh, wow. the Johnny's gun is, is a, a repro. A repro. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and these were not supposed to fire in the movie, so right. a lot of times we go with... No, you probably don't want to yeah. touch this off. This Check. is all silver inlay. Yeah. It's fault, most of it's gone, but... Yeah. Check it out, Larry. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And that's a screw barrel, too, which is kind of neat. Oh, you screw it off to reload it, yeah. More 1911s. Yeah. Hey, you guys are... Why the, wouldn't it why, be? Why wouldn't it be, right? Ooh. American Sniper Bradley Cooper. <laughs> yeah, 1911. Wow. In the early part of the movie, this is the gun they were showing. Um, he was shooting on his own, or what was the deal? Well, right, early in part of the movie... Chris Kyle, you'll see him walking around with a 1911 on in the first part of the movie. Mm -hmm. This was the this gun that the they had him carrying. Yeah, so we okay. also had him with a SIG. Yeah. Um, and that was, uh, you know, that was at the discretion of the prop master on how to use the different guns at different periods in the film. But we tried to, you know, dissect the book the way Chris had said he had used yeah. the guns. And we correlated to the tours in the movie, even though it was kind of not exactly the way yeah. it was in real life. Right. And mm -hmm. uh -huh. his carbine from the movie. And with the Punisher skull on the side of the Magwell. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, American American sniper. Got it. Yeah, so that, that Punisher skull was added for the later scenes. Um, we also had, initially that gun had a PEC-2 on it that was black. So we kind of distinguished the gun through different stages of the movie and different tours. Part of a different era. Yeah, so in 2004, when he went in, he had the PEC-2, and in 2006, he, they yeah. upgraded to these right. PEC-15s. Uh, is this a real lower? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Larry. I, I, we are taking all of our transferables. And, and U.S. property marked XM16E1. Wow. Let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, yeah. You'll get, you'll be able to see it on the YouTube video. Check it out. Yeah, hey, you'd be happy because yeah. I just took about fifteen of these out of service and replaced them with some mo more modern guns. Whoa. That thing is worth some coin, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what's interesting, and I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here. Sourcing some of this old stuff is really tough now. Yeah, yeah. it's if little individual items. Like possibly the optic mount or whatever can be be, be a real yeah, this pain. early M sixty eight mount. You know we've probably got them in our parts boxes, but try to find them. You know so try to find them in quantity. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. Sure. yeah, which means then you guys have to get one and then fabricate a mock up or something. Yeah, yeah if we're doing a hundred Marines from two thousand four, I mean, good luck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. American sniper. Here's a shotgun from Bright. Yeah. There's also another one, uh, Woodstock version, too. This is from the TV series Bright, Will Smith, TV series, right? Uh, Netflix film. Netflix film, my bad. And it's an 870 Police Magnum. Surefire. 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 Forum on it. Yeah. And uh, scatter gun technology's rear sight. Front. Ah, front face is the bead. Uh, we got Free State of Jones. This one is kind of interesting. In the script, uh, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know if it actually came out in the movie, but Matthew initially McCoy. it was scripted to where they had a gal reading off the, main, the make of the gun to him. And so we faked it, Remington and Company. Oh, okay. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, back and forth on what manufacturer, what name to put on there, um, and that's what they ended up with. So. Wow. State of Jones. 
I would assume this is a it's a copy of the Italian copy Italian of the bread. Copy. Yeah. The tower must have. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Which of course Civil War wise these things were really prevalent. Actually good guns. Very good gun. Very effective. Uh, tower of uh, Enfield. Enfield must have been of that area. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Both the north and the south both used them. Long rifle. Keith Ledger. The Patriot. The Patriot. And this one was actually cracked right here at the wrist. Pretty during, common. During way. filming. Yeah, pretty easy. And to it, uh, imagine one, how weak it is there. Yeah. yeah. The armor on the show had to do a very quick uh, repair a on it. A yeah. job on it. And this is basically a repo flint, right? Yeah, this is uh, a modern. This was a kit, but it was one of the nicer kits. Uh, yeah, I. Here. We'll take your word for it, man. Yeah, yeah I'll right. get the name of that. Um, Mel's gun, we don't own Mel's gun, Mike Pappick owns Mel's gun. Yeah. Um, that was uh, that was a custom modern made gun. Okay, yeah, yeah right. that one was big dollar. Classic old Mauser. Public enemies. Another Christian Bale gun. Christian yeah. Bale. 98, the classic uh, European sporter, yeah, butter big time. Bolt. Butter knife bolt. The claw mount system here. What caliber is this one shown for? Most of these, you know, were actually still 8 millimeter. A lot of them were 757. See if anywhere up here. What's he right here on the barrel? Right around the other side there. What's it say right there? Soul. It says soul. Yeah, it's not cal. I don't it's see not cal. Marked. It's not marked. It's very likely it's not marked as an 8 millimeter. Classic Germanic rib. You know, and this is original. This is a legit gun. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's some. Yeah, but there was a there was a lot of searching going for that one. They there was a lot of back. So this was for what era in this movie that this supposedly was set at, like somewhere uh, pre-war or something like that. Well, so this is what this is Dillinger. So what is that? 1930s. Yeah, right, 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 30. Yeah. yeah. There's a German hunting rifle collector out there that's butthurt that this was used in that movie. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> No doubt. Not a lot of movies in Hollywood or guns in Hollywood that are of that era. No, not at all. This is Oblivion. Oblivion. Tom Cruise. ACR. Converted ACR. I remember seeing it in the movie. You had the little short stubby mag. Yeah. Fairly heavy too. Yeah, it is. Uh, a lot of times when we're doing those housings around them, they it just adds so much weight. This is just a rubber optic. The yeah. they they had some uh, original ones made, but the production company kept those because they paid for us to. Mm. So, so I just threw a rubber sight on there. But that that mag, um, it, you know, Magpul didn't make a mag that size, so we actually chopped it down right at the seam and were able to slide the. the Base plate back on, cut the spring and everything, and it functioned fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. This insurgent divergent. Why is the crisp? But it ended up being <laughs> divergent. Yeah. Remind me who was in that. Oh boy. I can't Anybody remember. remember. Anybody remember? I vaguely remember the movie. Yeah. It's a Chris. It's a Vector Chris. Yeah. It's, uh, mocked, up. Right mocked up. Mm -hmm. SBR. Mm -hmm. And it's from Priest. Priest, yeah. So here's your name. Wow. Well. 10.22, man, you just took a good advantage right there. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Some real work on that. So, ah. there's two AA-12s in Hollywood that I'm aware of, and we own both of them. My buddy Jonathan Babb <laughs> would love this. He just yeah. helped them close out the rest of their guns. 
Oh, did you? He, Jonathan Babb did, a buddy of mine. Yeah. He helped him sell. They had like a dozen or something on hand, and he helped him sell them. Yeah. Um, have you ever shot this? I have. He yeah. sent me a video of him shooting it, and I could not believe how control book was. We're going to do a video. on. He's going to come up to where I'm at. We're going to do a video for my channel on one of these. Yeah, they're they're cool guns. So that rail on front, that was an add-on we did. Uh, so right we here. put lights on there and stuff. Now, the one in Predators? Mm -hmm. Same guns. It, it, they, they had a uh, wrap on them. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah, so interesting. They did uh, Expendables 3 out of Europe, out of England, with a different uh, rental company, and they, they mocked those up, I think, out of Sega's or something. For oh, really? Three. Yeah, because they couldn't get them. Will bad Boys Will Smith. We Will also Smith's had Bad Boys P225. Yeah. Nickel. Yeah, there's a two-tone Glock as well. Um, Magazine. Copy from the P38. Another descendant, right? Yeah, buddy. There you go, Will Smith. Right. That's kind of a neat. Uh, it's a TV show gun, but it, it's kind of a neat gun. It is. Uh, oh, yeah, Burn Notice, season seven. And this is a a takedown sniper. Yes. Sure. Built on an HK 770 semi automatic cunning rifle. You can see the logo right there. Wow, that's pretty well. It is indeed. It weighs a ton. Yeah. Holmes. <laughs> that thing weighs a ton. So, obviously, the effect in the movie was they actually showed him put it together? Is that kind of the deal? Yeah, yeah TV show. Um, those, were built, those were built up by Gibbons Limited way back in the day. And then. Um, for for what they had them on, I have no idea, but uh, we've used them in a couple different TV shows. So Dude. it's just an older HK. We like HK. So uh, single action. Uh, Robert Patrick played character Canard in Gangster Squad. Gangster Squad. Yeah, and it has the hash marks. I mean that that's actually part of the movie. Yeah, part of the whacked all those dudes. Yeah. And it's a. Uberti. Uberti, a copy of a five and a half inch single action army. Very cool. And actually, he's got the wear and tear. It looks like, yeah. I mean, look, it's like an honest used gun that was carried. Mm -hmm. We're going to be losing Instagram here in a few minutes. Corner shot. Corner shot. What movie was this in? So, uh, we got last a tag ship. right there for Last, last ship, ship TV show, but uh, we've had it on a bunch of different shows. One of the, one of the, Downsides to using that is uh, we have to put our full autos in there unless we want to register a handgun mm -hmm. and leave it in there, you know. Corner shot action. Ken, I know you are in particular enamored with this. <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. You're gonna, you're gonna run out and get two of them. All right, that's uh, that's the SIG from the earlier part of the American Sniper. Oh really? Yeah. Chris Kyle. Two twenty. Good job. Just keep on that cap. <laughs> American sniper. Sig two twenty. West German Sig. Once again, yeah. killing a collector's item. Way to go, ISS. <laughs> <laughs> All those West Germans. When we killed that gun, in all fairness, it wasn't a collector. Yeah, no biggie. I'm, I'm being. I, I'm, I'm not over that XM16E1 yet. That's going to trouble me for a while. I'm going to lose sleep over that. I got a rack to show you in the back there. Uh, so this is uh, just is another movie mock-up gun. It's a Barrett, and this was uh, Hancock, another Will Smith. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a beast. Hancock. Yeah, I think he takes out an LAPD car with it. <laughs> Something wow. like that. Muzzle break. Oh, yeah. So uh, another gun that'll break your heart. We we cut that Bob that hammer to match uh, Jay Edgar's gun. Wow. For Jay Edgar the movie, another Eastwood movie. Yeah. And those are real ivory grips. This has been a real and that's early a, Colt. Please positive in thirty-eight Smith and Wesson, or thirty-eight Colt. Excuse me. Well, they would never use the term, but a thirty-eight Colt. Um, and 
in that early era, the FBI, that's the gun they, they carried 38 cold police positives. Mm -hmm. Cool, brother. Until they figured out it wasn't much. And hey, you guys, make sure you check out this on my YouTube channel, Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. We're going to have this edited and then posted so you guys can come back and, and review it and check it out. That's another Serenity gun. Oh. You've well, never seen one like that before. No, no. I'm <laughs> never seen a 1911 quite like that. Not at all. What, what's this from, Carl? Serenity. That same movie uh, based off the series Firefly. There you go, guys. Serenity. Is it built on a cash band frame or what? It, it is built on a yeah, Colt. 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 Colt frame. Mm -hmm. Colt frame. It's got that ghost ring sight thing that some people yeah. like. <laughs> that is uh, Sons of Anarchy, Jax's gun. Whoa. And it's a bureau model. Yeah. Actual bureau model. Is it a legit bureau model? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's mocked up. We. Yeah. yeah. Slides. It, bureau model. Custom shop. We did get, we got the slides on. The slide, yeah. But the frame's not. Which is a Springfield frame. Springfield frame, but it's but it, not a bureau frame. No, it doesn't, it doesn't have, have a bureau. Have, yeah, a similar, but they did mark it like they do with the caliber 45. Yeah, they just didn't yeah. put the. Who, what, who, who uses this, Carl? Uh, Jack from Sons of Anarchy, which is no longer. Uh, we're doing a remake right now um, called uh, Mayans. The Mayans. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Great time as always, Carl. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah cool. thank you guys. Um, Larry Vickers. Carl, Carl, from I, yep, Carl from ISS. He runs the show out here at ISS in Ken Hackathorn. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, remember to watch the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. This video will be edited and put up on the channel. All right. Have a good one. LAV out.